Hello YouTube, this is part 3 of working on my Cub Cadet 102 restoration project. Today we're going to be draining the oil, stripping this engine, and hopefully, I don't quite know if we're doing this in this video, but hopefully we're going to be uh, sanding this down for paint. So right now I'm, wearing, I'm going to work on getting this drain plug out, which I imagine is going to give me a little fight or not, who knows. Just to make sure though, I'm going to give it a couple few taps to get, make it come right off. If I can find my hammer, that is. And this will work. Eh, it looks like it's going to come right on out. Which, that's a miracle for how old this engine is. I believe this is a 60s or 70s motor. I don't know. I'll have to ask the guy I know how to tell. Ooh. Ooh, crunchy. Eh, seems to be actually pretty clean though. Clean the engine over a bit. But I'll fast forward this process so you don't have to sit here and watch. That is concerning. That was bone dry. Okay, well, I guess that's how bad it leaked, huh? Which, uh, well, we'll put the drain plug in for any last drips that want to come out. We're going to pull it apart anyway. But let's start getting to pulling the part this engine. Which, like I said before, excuse my stuttering. I'm going to stutter a lot because I don't know the part names off the top of my head like some mechanics. And I'm not that great of a mechanic, yet I'm just here to entertain and have a good time and have someone to talk to, so if you hate me, don't have to watch me. I'm here. Oh, thunder. Hello. Well, I think I'm going to work on pulling my exhaust off, so I'll turn that around. Is ex I'm missing the, um, whatchamacallit, the stinking cover, I mean the um, gasket for the, the exhaust gasket. But eh, life is life, it'll, it'll be fine. Okay, now, I'm I'll probably leave all my governor system, I might pull that, I don't know, I'll look up how to pull that off later. But yeah, so I'm going to probably pull the head now. Actually, nah, let's work on on gaskets around the sides now. I mean, stuff around the sides. So we'll work on this side now. I'll take this off. Which also, well, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take all these parts off, put I'm, I'm going to sand them, and then I will put them back together, and then it's all going to get painted as one piece to make it life easier. Now, pull this off, there's that gasket, that, uh, yeah, that, that looks worse for wear. <laughs> No wonder that leaked. Okay. Let me pull off the little center thing. Try to put everything back the way you pulled it off. To kind of help you in the future. And there you go. Now when you go put the, everything back together, you can regasket it all how it was. I mean, you know what what way it went back together. So, sit down, that down as is. I will have to blur my face again, probably. This 
video might come out late. <laughs> okay, now that don't look like that come off, so we're good there. We're gonna pull the fuel pump thing off. I don't even have a fuel pump. Oh, if you're curious, you're right. How can how well can you see? I gotta switch out this. If you're curious, um, what this is, I made that. That's kind of just it's just a bracket to hold. Like I can screw my choke too, so it it will stay in place perfectly. So one bolt. Two bolt. And we knocked the little plate off. Should be able to at least. You like a flat hit, I imagine. There we go. Oh yeah. Yep, that guy gets junk. Also, um, when I go to put the back this engine, put this engine back together. Remember, you're gonna have to clean up all your like. You're gonna have to clean up your surfaces before putting new gaskets on in, etc. Yeah, I. I think that'll be fine, just, I don't know. Okay, now, we'll pull off my governor thing. Got the old school screwdriver in. There should be, if you're curious, why, here, here's a little fact, if you're curious why this had a button, I, and also I found out what the stuff on the back of the engine was. It's actually like a kind of a coil system, but mine apparently went out with the guy who owned it last, and they replaced it for um, a normal coil system, so, and that also, so that means this engine originally could be pull started and ran without a battery, which that's kind of what this button's for to shut it off if it doesn't have, if it, ha you know, if it, gosh darn it, if it doesn't have a battery, clearly your key doesn't work and whatnot, and so that button's to help shut it off. Now we'll take this off. Move it over here. Now that stays on, I'm pretty sure. So now we'll remove my head. I know what it looks like under here. It ain't the prettiest. Definitely will need work eventually, but right now I don't care. So you kind of want to, since this is a flathead, oh gosh, here we go. <laughs> Loosen everything. A little bit at a time, because you, if you warp a flathead, you're screwed. You'll have to buy a new head, which I'm not looking to do, so I'm going to... Oh my gosh, okay. Um, I torqued these down way too much. You want to go over here. Try to do like an X pattern. This would be so much helpful, so much more helpful if I had like an engine stand. Okay. Screw it, let's see what this will do. Okay, now I have to get one pull real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, now that's off. Now, pull the head. 
Well, make sure all your bolts are undone. Completely. doesn't look as bad as I, it has been in the past. I don't need this anymore. Not as bad as I thought it'd be after how badly this engine ran, but still ain't great. Doesn't have doesn't have any player any bad any, any bad play or anything so yeah okay we'll put you back now let's do something I don't want to do and remove, this, remove this plate because I need to get two gaskets behind it because I want to make sure that this sucker doesn't leak. And just to make sure, it's always good to run these off in a. Okay, you know what? Um, it's always good to run, run these off in kind of an X pattern, just to make sure, so you don't warp any of these old parts. Because gaskets leaking suck. Ask me how I know why this thing's coming apart. Now what you need to do, that's loose, get you a decent sized hammer, nothing too big because you don't want to shatter this, but enough to where it'll have some horsemen knocking around, so yeah. So what you want to do is just go tappy tappy tappy. There you go. And there's our bearing. It looks pretty decent shape. I don't see what's wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Though this gasket's blown out. So, yeah, that'll need work. Okay, now we'll do. We'll just put this over here. Now, now we. Turn the motor over onto its side or something. I don't really know. Actually, first, so what you want to do, we're going to take off the oil pan now, which that's not the size. Of, gosh, why is it like a different size on this engine? I swear. The mower itself isn't like this, the engine is, though. There you go. We'll go by and loosen every one of them one by one. So that's loose. This one's loose. Come around to this side. Oh gosh, that's gonna be a pain. Um, yeah, no, we'll get I'll probably fast forward through this next bit if I can find my the one I need. Well, 
still seems to be raining. That sucks. So I guess this really is just going to be a video of us just disassembling the motor. Well, now nah, I'll let it in the rest later when I get to it. There we go. Mm. Also, when you sit down your engine after, you know, like removing the bottom of it, make sure not to set it down on uh, anything valuable. Eh, that gasket don't look too bad, still, you don't need it. And we'll get rid of the rest of this oil. That's not really oil anymore. Oh no. Oh. That's not good. It's sludgy. That's not great. Yep, there's shiny stuff. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. That's ooh no. Whale? You know what? No no one saw that, right? <laughs> well. Well, I'll continue my engine building process in a little bit. You'll it'll be instant for y'all, but uh I need to wait for the rain to stop and when light comes back, so yeah, uh, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I thought about this and I think we're just gonna ignore it. So now we're gonna grind off all the paint on this and get it prepped for prepped for paint. So yeah, um, I'm all these parts are gonna be put back on before they're painted because I want to paint the entire block all in one go. Also, when you take a the oil paint off your engine. Make these engines have a um have what the like an oil like pickup thing, a little like lever um thing pointer down on the bottom of them. Make sure your engine your pistons all the way up before you set your engine down or you'll break that and then you'll have a bad time. And these I was looking at these bearings, they look fine, they don't have any play in them or anything, so that's good. And they're not too vital, so no, they're very vital but like it's not you don't have to replace them every time you go you go to change gaskets so yeah and they don't seem to have any wear on them so yeah that's good okay but yeah also I took the governor off governor arm off so yeah um I'm gonna get I'm gonna put you all in the thing and then we're, I'm gonna show you how I personally grind out my stuff so what I usually like to do is I like to use a bench grinder gosh darn it's not plugged in one second. I like to use a bench grinder with a um, wire brush attachment. It works pretty well for these small little parts. And genuinely, you don't want to do, use it on the, the side where the gasket goes because that'll make it not want to seal right. And see how that's all nice and clean? And here's a tip if you're sanding, and you notice it's like shipping over, like, like, if there's hard edges here, I'll show you. So, like, say I sanded here a little bit, but you notice how, like, there's hard edges right here? If it's still doing the hard edges, it's not good. You want it to where it's nice and smooth, like, kind of, like, I, I don't know how to explain it. I'll try to show it. Like you notice like how under here kind of makes a fade into it. That's that's genuinely what you want because the parts that are chipping means it's gonna strip there eventually.
go, another part done. Nice and shiny. Now this last part, I don't know how this is going to work. That's good. I'm not going to worry about the bottom of it for reasons, but still. One minute, I'll be right back. Now for time for getting the block ready, which what I do is I usually fill all the holes with um, paper, clean paper towels and this wire, I mean, get a hand brush and brush it, which I'll have to speed up this process too, but eh, it looked good on editing in the end.
and you kind of want to... And there you go, that was part three of the Cub Cadet restoration project. Um, sorry I break this down in so much, I just can't edit big videos at a time. Yeah, I say this is turning out good. It's going to bring a really good engine when it's done. I also took off the point system, you'll probably notice that in the video, but yeah. Bye, see you later.